True happiness is to enjoy the present with our anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. Seneca. Now don't get confused and think that Seneca is telling us that we shouldn't aspire to better ourselves or shouldn't aspire to gain material possessions in this world. This isn't the case because Seneca himself was a very wealthy man. But what he is telling us, his quote, it's actually an admonition against the lack of presence. People tend to forget about the present moment. We're always looking into the future and we're always looking into the past. We're always wishing for things, trying to get the next, next best thing, never content with our lot. We suffer from what Zen likes to call the monkey mind, the distracted mind that lacks focus. Of course, this is part of the human condition. This is part of the social narrative. We are always thinking ahead, thinking of the family we're going to have, the job position we're going to have, etc., our retirement. But the trap is we miss out. We miss out on living. We miss out on present moment happiness. Now, let's reflect back. Think of when you were younger and you wanted some toy. Now, let's say this thing you wanted it was the Xbox, Xbox One, the first Xbox. And when you were younger, you probably thought that this thing would bring you lots of happiness. You had dreams about it. You talked about it. You begged your parents to get it for you. And if you were lucky, perhaps your parents did give in and they bought you the Xbox. For the first few weeks or so, you were ecstatic. You were very happy. You had heaps of joy as you played this thing. You played this thing to the ground until the gimmick wore off as was as what naturally happens you start growing tired of it so the happiness faded and you wanted something more you wanted something else to rekindle that excitement so the next thing you go for is maybe the xbox 360 or a new bike or maybe a new laptop and so begins the cycle now this cycle doesn't end during childhood it continues to adulthood we are always looking for new job positions we're looking for new cars new material things new positions all, all this stuff but at the end of the day we end up going back to our base level of happiness why we never are able to truly be content or fulfilled because it's always something else it never ends it's it's it's, it's what is called by science the hedonic treadmill you're stuck on the hedonic treadmill and you suffer from hedonic adaptation which basically says that regardless of what happens to you you generally go back to your base level of happiness if you were to lose your house right now and start living on the streets of course you might be depressed to begin with you might actually be suicidal for a while but after a few months maybe a year or two your base level of happiness goes back to where it was. You adapt to the situation. If you were to become a multimillionaire right now, you'd be pretty happy. You'd have a lot of time to enjoy yourself. But after a few years, once again, your base level of happiness returns to its normal level. This is why people are so surprised when they see celebrities that get depressed or commit suicide. It's what people don't understand about the hedonic adaptation. Material things don't matter after a while. Things change. Happiness comes from within and it comes from paying attention to the present moment and enjoying your lot, not really needing anything more. Once again, this doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't aspire for great things, but it means that you should be able to take some time to reflect sit down and enjoy the present moment.